Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are doing my September beauty and skincare empties. So if you are new to these kind of videos, this is basically where I talk through all the beauty products, skincare, makeup, body care stuff that I have finished using this month. So it's not necessarily something that I have opened and used fully, it's just something that has become empty. So I keep everything to one side to give you a review at the end of the month. And this month we've got quite a lot of minis. So if you do watch my other videos then you'll probably know that I do receive a lot of beauty boxes and more recently a lot of advent calendars. So last year we did get a lot of advent calendars as well and you know it takes a while to use things up. So I do try and gift quite a lot to family and friends where I can but if I know that I want to try a particular product or if I will like a particular product then I do keep it and I just eventually get around to using it. Um, I also don't like to get rid of products without completely finishing them so unless a product like doesn't work with my skin or I just don't get on with it then I will use it completely even if it's just okay I'll still use it because I don't like to waste products and especially the miniatures as well obviously there's more plastic packaging it's not great for the environment so yeah I just don't like to waste stuff. Um, obviously this all goes in the recycling as well where possible trying to do my bit and yeah just trying to give you my opinion on a few products and share what I enjoyed and what I didn't so if you do enjoy this kind of video please give it a thumbs up and also hit subscribe I do do these videos every single month so click the bell as well and you'll be notified next time I upload so these are all the products for this month like I said quite a few minis those look like quite full actually but there's not as many products as last month I don't think so I'm just going to start off with the face masks and other masks because these are just gonna fall off so first of all i'm gonna go with this hair mask so this is from lee stafford it's the coco loco coconut shine mask and um, so it's a hair mask infused with coconut oil for silkier and softer hair great hair in a nutshell so i do have a few of these little sachets you can pick these up in like boots they're all quite affordable um i used this actually on my hair last night and to be honest i'm not really sure if i saw a difference really um usually with packets like this as well there's so much in it it literally covers my entire hair and these always spare and i'm trying to just put the excess like on my roots just putting it everywhere but this one it just felt like there wasn't quite enough in it to like do all of my hair so yeah i probably wouldn't buy this one again it did smell really really nice it's definitely like a coconut smell but kind of like almost like sweets kind of scent i don't know if that makes sense um but yeah it was nice but I wouldn't get this one again, it's not my fave. I'd definitely go for one of the other Lee Stafford one. Like Lee Stafford in general is a fab brand. I love their hair products. Um, I use their hair products regularly. I'm using one of the 10 in 1 treatment sprays at the moment, which is really nice. But yeah, just wasn't really a fan of this one. So that's a no. Okay, the next ones are, these are all face masks. So we've got a little mini from Aphorio. Um, if you've watched my empties before, you'll have seen this so many times. Um, I've got the Aphorio UFL2 device and these are the little masks. Um, that it comes with to put on the actual device. So it's like a little circular face mask, exactly the same kind of material, just soaked in serum. You pop it on the device, you connect it to your phone on Bluetooth, you basically tell the app which mask it is. So this is the Call It A Night mask. Um, it's got ginseng and olive oil in. And basically then the UFO 2 device knows exactly what to do. So it kind of, it heats up and cools down at the right time. It emits different LED lights. So it uses a lot of red and green on this one, I've noticed. And it also vibrates as well. So it's a really, really nice like 90 second uh, facial. And you can redo it as well once you finish. You just click go again and it does it again. So it's really, really nice. Do love these. Um, I do actually have quite a lot of these masks. These are all my Foreo masks that I have in my drawer. So they do have so many to choose from. They're really, really nice. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm slowly working my way through all of these and um, just like to mix it up every now and again So yeah, I do love the Foreo mask. I will always get these again um, They sell them in like packs of six or eight or something um, usually on like look fantastic So I will always wait till there's a discount on look fantastic as well usually 20% off or something um, And then yeah stock up on them then so next we've got this one here. This is from Holika Holika see pure essence mask sheet in pearl I've had this one before. The reason I got this is because when I do an order and look fantastic, if I only want a couple of things and I'm not quite at that spend to get free delivery, I'll just add a couple of face masks in because they're cheap, you know, it just tops up the order and then I get free delivery. So I'd rather spend my money on a couple of sheet masks than delivery. <laughs> Good way to do it. Um, yeah, I've had this one before. It's nice. I do like this one. Um, I don't really have anything in particular to say about this one. It was nice on my skin. Um, the serum felt really, really nice and yeah it's just nice and refreshing just moisturizing and then we've got this one from OK Beauty this was in an ASOS box a while ago I think um I have already used one of these last month it's the skin clarifying leopard print sheet mask so this is what you end up looking like when you've got it on 
I do always love OK Beauty for sheet masks. Um, definitely one of my faves. Other ones are Beauty Pro, they're amazing. OK Beauty, Vita Masks, uh, Patchology, that's quite expensive though. Um, but yeah, I do like these ones. So they're just, these are really, really nice to just have in. If you just fancy a bit of a nourishing, hydrating sheet mask, then I just like to have some of these um, OK Beauty ones in. And they do the job. They're nice, they've got enough serum on them. And yeah, I don't really mind which ones I use from OK Beauty, but I always have some in my drawer. And then the final one is from Garnier Ombre Cellar. It's the After Sun Tissue Mask. This one here. So at the start of this month, we did get a little bit of sunshine. So I think I sat out in the garden like once. Um, and then, yeah, I just thought, well, I've seen the sun. I'm going to use this one up. <laughs> um, it was a nice mask. So because it was an After Sun one, I actually put it in the fridge. So it was like really, really cold on application, uh, which was nice and refreshing. So I'd imagine if I had been sunbathing for a while or on holiday or something, this would be so, so nice. Um, so I'd definitely get this one again, but probably only in summertime. For me, there's no point picking this one up in winter. I'd rather choose a more nourishing one. Um, but yeah, this is nice and soothing, and I did enjoy this one. Okay, next we've got some nails from Elegant Touch. Two different types. So the first one are these ones, which you can't see because they're on my nails. So I love Elegant Touch nails. If I'm ever going to get a stick on nails, this is the brand. Um, they sell these on ASOS, look fantastic, boots anywhere really. They're not that expensive either, around about five, six pounds for a pack. Um, obviously they are all different sizes inside so you're meant to choose which one fits your nail and then glue it on. It comes with glue as well which is amazing and it says they last up to 10 days. In my experience when you apply the glue that comes with it they last way longer than that. I've had them on for like three weeks at some point. It's mad. So usually there's only like one use out of this because once you've found your actual size then there's not enough to put them on twice. But what I did this time was I used them up so I wore these in August because I wore them on my glossy box video because someone commented I remember. Um, and then to put this set on the other day I basically just got what was left and just filed them down to fit. So yeah they actually look alright. So I do really like these. I'll always get these ones again. Not too sure about the glittery ones. Let me see it close up there. Um, I mean, the glitter wasn't really my favourite. I think these ones were actually sent to me ages ago in PR. So I probably wouldn't get the glitter ones again, but they do have some really, really nice nude ones at the moment on ASOS that I've seen. So I'd definitely buy those ones. They're really nice. And then the other set from Elegant Touch are the Insta Nails Pre Glued Manny. So these ones, I mean, they're a different size and shape. I'm not really that bothered. So I would prefer to usually go for these longer ones, but I thought I'd try these out. At least I've got some on. And I just thought this might be a really, really quick and easy way to put some nails on before I film YouTube videos if I've just taken mine off or if I've not painted them or something. Wax some of these on because they're already pre-glued. Um, so I did put them on. I might have had them on for one video maybe. But basically by the next day, half of them had come off. It just wouldn't stick. So yeah, just not really a fan. Um, they do come with like an alcohol wipe, so you're meant to wipe that over your nails first just to kind of dehydrate them um, and then you can stick them on because they do stick better. But yeah, just didn't really like them. Um, I do have another set of these in like a purpley shade, but I've not even opened them. I might just give them to someone to try because these just didn't work. I just ended up finding like three of them around the house. I was like, oh, oh, I've lost a nail. <laughs> so yeah, don't like these ones. Okay, hair stuff. So we've got a shampoo. This month, this is my Bedhead Recovery Damage Level 2 shampoo. Um, you'll have seen this in one of my other empties. I'm quite fussy with shampoos, I'll generally stick with the same few. And this is one of them. This is one that just gets your hair really, really clean. Um, especially if you've had like a mask on it, um, or you've just left it a little bit longer to wash it when it's been a bit dirtier. This is great, I absolutely love this. Um, I do get this in a tween uh, with the conditioner, and I've recently bought this again from Look Fantastic because they had like 50% off so I ended up getting this size of shampoo and conditioner for like 7 50 which is just insane. Um, but yeah, this is always one of my go-tos for super clean hair and this is the actual set that I take on holiday as well but in the smaller bottles. You know, if I can remember what a holiday is because it's been that long. But yeah, I always read by this one, I absolutely love it. The other shampoos which are my go-to are Fudge, the anti-yellow, whatever it's called, the blue one, Fanola and more recently Colour Wow, I've just stocked up on that, I really like that one as well, so yeah. Those are kind of my little shampoo circle, so I'll always rebuy those ones. Okay, the other hair thing, I think there's only one. Oh no, there's two more. So here we've got a Defence Detoxifying Scalp Scrub from Grow Gorgeous. Again, this is another product that's been in my empties before. I don't know if it's just me, but I really struggle with scalp scrubs to actually get it on my scalp. I feel like because I've got so much hair, like I obviously can get it here and then I just have to like separate it in layers and just try and like work it in. But 
Yeah, I just don't really think it does anything really. I don't know. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I mean, I still use it because I love the smell of this brand. Um, and I also use their hair growth serum, which is really, really good. But yeah, I'm just, it's okay. Okay, and the final hair product is a Batiste dry shampoo. This is the Blush Floaty Floral. This came in a glossy box, I believe. I don't know if this is like a new version because I'm, I'm sure I used to always get the blush one, the pink one. Um, and this is obviously called Blush. It's a different design, like the flowers are different on the front. Um, and this was in the July glossy box, June glossy box, a couple of months ago. But when I used this, it just seemed, I don't know, so much more like powerful and like it just cleaned my hair better than the regular one. So I don't know if it's because it was a smaller bottle, if there's more pressure, I have no idea. Um, or if it was a new one it doesn't say new i don't know it just seemed like so much better than the big bottle but yeah i always get batiste dry shampoo always have it in my drawer and uh, the other ones i have as well this one is really really good this is the living proof one this is an empty uh the perfect hair day dry shampoo because this one it says it actually cleans hair eliminates oil sweat and odor so and it does honestly feel like your hair's actually been cleaned it's so much better and uh, that's quite expensive though so i just get that one in beauty boxes um and advent calendars and stuff but yeah that is so so good i really really like that one okay so moving on to skincare then the most fun section first thing this one this is the nivea rose care micellar two in one cleanser and toner with organic rose water sounds very posh 200 ml yeah this one i just didn't like at all so it was kind of like more of kind of like a moisturizer consistency like a thick it wasn't like a micellar water kind of consistency it was thicker um, and it just felt like I was just kind of rubbing in like a really thick cleanser into my face And yeah, it just didn't feel the same as my skin does if I was to like use a micellar water um, Wasn't as good at removing makeup either and yeah, I just I just didn't like it So I was using it and by the time I got to like here I thought I don't like this. It's not great, but I still used it because I don't want to waste it um, But yeah, definitely wouldn't buy this one again. I would stick to regular micellar water I just feel like they work better. They remove makeup better I don't know, they just feel better, so yeah, didn't like that one. Um, next, have we got any other cleansers? Okay, so we've got another cleanser here. This is from Pharmacy. It's the Green Clean Makeup Meltaway Cleansing Balm. This little miniature, yeah, this tiny little pot, so there wasn't much at all. It was, it was a very, very small amount. Um, with these cleansing balms, you don't need loads, really. You only need, like, I'd say, like, this much, and you can just rub your hands together, and it just melts off all your makeup. Um, I did really like this one. It did work well. I'm not sure how expensive it is though. So like my go-to for cleansing balms is Elemis. I just find that one is my favourite. It works really, really well. Um, I also love the Emma Hardy one. And yeah, this one as well. So I'd definitely use this one again. This was really, really good. But I mean, I can't really compare it as, as such with the Elemis one because it was only like a couple of uses. I say I use this for about five days, I think, to remove makeup and then it was all gone. So yeah, it would have been nice to get a bigger one. Um, so yeah, if this is like in a box again, then I'd definitely pick it up to try it um, in a bigger size. Okay, next we've got a product from Glossy Box Skincare. This is a three-in-one moisturiser. So Glossy Box Skincare launched last summer um, and they brought out several products, 10 or 11 products. Um, I got a few sent in PR to try and then since I've had them in like beauty boxes, advent calendars and stuff, this was really, really nice. I did really like this moisturiser. They do have the rich moisturiser and then the regular one. This was a regular one and this was absolutely perfect for me. It says plumps, primes and protects. So I think it also acts as a primer, but I always use a primer and a sunscreen on top anyway. Oh, but it just smells so good. Um, yeah, really, really like this one. My sister also really likes this one. She's been using it too. And yeah, it's just, it's nice and lightweight. It soaks into the skin well. Um, it smells pleasant. Your skin feels moisturized and hydrated afterwards. And it, it is a nice base for your sunscreen and primer and your makeup. Um, yeah. I really like this one, so i definitely get this one again. Fingers crossed it's in the advent calendar this year, because that would be good. Okay, next we've got a product from Balance Me. It's the Vitamin C Repair Serum. So this is actually one of two Vitamin C products I've got. So the other Vitamin C products I've used... In fact, we've got three. So this one is the Dr. Dennis Gross C Plus Collagen Brighten and Firm Vitamin C Serum. And then the main star of the show of Vitamin C is the Dermalogica Biolumin C Serum. So I was using this one. I've been using this for several months now. It lasts ages. This is the 59 ml bottle, random. It's two fluid ounces, that's why. But yeah, 59 ml. So yeah, I was using this for a few months. Absolutely love this. This is such a nice product. Um, oh, you, oh, actually, it's like 
pulled up the tiniest amount so you can actually see that's what's left in the bottom but it's like a really really nice serum consistency um smells nice you know it's not unpleasant at all soaks into the skin really really well um yeah i absolutely love this and recently they've sent me a top up so i'm so so grateful for them sending that to me um because yeah i wanted another one of this um one of these is actually in an advent calendar that's coming up i won't spoil it for you um but yeah i'm purchasing that advent calendar so i will get another one of these um and i'm really really glad because this is my favorite this is about 80 quid i think this size so it's quite expensive this is my favorite vitamin c followed by medicaid that is really good as well completely different ones are like the medicaid is more oily this is more serumy but yeah this is my favorite so yeah i ran out of this one so then i moved on to the dr dennis gross one this was only a small sample this was in the black friday box from look fantastic last year and that's how long it takes me to get around the products but like i said i still use them all so there's only nine mil in here um you just used it says like was it three pumps every morning one to two pumps i use like three to four this one didn't smell as nice still did the job yeah it was okay i think if i had this one again in a box or in a calendar i would still use it it was good but i don't think i'd go out and buy this one i think if i was gonna buy any it'd be this one followed by the medicaid one um this balance me one this was just more like a normal serum for me i don't really know how to describe it because obviously like i don't really know what it feels like if the vitamin c is working but this one just felt like a regular serum to me so yeah it was okay but probably wouldn't buy this one again i'd always go for the dermalogica or medicaid I hope that made sense. Okay, next we've got the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. This was in the Cup Beauty gift for purchase a couple months ago. I've only tried one other product from Glow Recipe and that was the mask, the overnight sleeping mask. So this is the second one and this is really, really nice. It's got the same watermelon scent. Um, this felt quite nourishing as I like put it on my skin but yeah Korean skincare is amazing and I was so glad that I could actually try this one. I'd definitely get this one again. This might be in a calendar I think but yeah this would definitely be a tone that I would be purchased. Um, the one I'm using at the moment is the Elemis uh, Apricot Toner. I've literally just started this one as you can see. Um, so I don't need one at the moment but this would definitely be on my rebuy list. Um, and it's good to like make a note of the skincare product you want because with Black Friday coming up um, there's a website you can use called Cosmetify. I'm not an affiliate for this or anything, but this is just a great tool that you can use. Um, so you go on Cosmetify and you type in the product. So I type in Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Toner um, and it searches all the websites that stock it and tells you what website's got it in stock and what the best price is. And then you just click and it takes you straight through to the website with the best price. So it's a great way to look for your favourite products instead of having to go through all your different regular websites. This just finds the best one. So yeah little tip there for black friday oh the sun just come out i'm gonna get like sun on my face now um right mask i've used up just one. Oh, is that sun in the way now is it bright isn't it i don't have blinds in this room yet because they haven't arrived yeah the mask that i've used up we're just gonna put it with it we'll just lift it it's fine uh the mask that i've used up is from origins it's a clear improvement active charcoal mask to clear pores so it actually looks like it's still got it in but that's just like round the edge of the tube because the tube's actually clear but you can't get anywhere out of it um as you can see no, you can see it's empty there this was nice i do like having like a clay mask charcoal mask that kind of thing as well as using sheet masks and other nourishing masks in the week i was using this when i was in the bath i like to put a mask on when i'm in the bath um and yeah this was a really really good one i did enjoy using this one and yeah i would definitely get this one again i mean it's meant to clear pores i don't really know if it did that i do have like quite noticeable pores like around here um oh that just tickled my nose but yeah so i don't really know if it did that but i liked it anyway it was a nice mask my skin did feel nice after using it oh this sun's really nice oh there we go right i'll just sit back but yeah I, anyway i like this one i would definitely get this one again next we've got a moisturizer from avant try and not get the sun on it so this is the supreme hyaluronic acid antioxidizing dual moisturizer this is the tiny little sample i think they sent me this as a christmas gift last year and yeah finally got around to using it it's only 10 mil Avant products are always amazing for me. I really, really enjoy using them. They are like super, super expensive. So I would never buy a product full price from Avant. I would only buy it if it was in like a beauty box. If I knew one was going to be in a beauty box, I'd buy that box. Or if it was in like a big gift set or something or an advent calendar. So expensive. Um, but the products are really, really good. So, I mean, there's been loads of talk about Avant and whether it is actually worth it um, compared with other brands. But I mean, if you look at the ingredient list you can't tell specifically like if it says hyaluronic acid on the ingredient list you don't actually know 
is that multi-molecular hyaluronic acid or is it just like one molecular side because there is a difference in the quality of the ingredient and what it actually does to the skin but on the back it'll just say hyaluronic acid so you can't really tell just from reading it so I know people have gone oh it's got the same ingredients in as such a thing but you don't actually know what molecular formula that is and what it's actually doing if it is better so yeah you can't really do that to compare you can to an extent but not really fully um, so I mean I do believe they're like a luxury brand and the products do work they are really good but it's still super super expensive um, it's like Murad, Murad Night Cream, uh, that's like 70 quid. I'd still never pay 70 quid for it, but I know that it is a really good cream that does work. So it's kind of like that, but no one really questions that brand because it's more well known, it's been less boxes, I don't know. But yeah, anyway, great moisturiser. Uh, my sister loves this one, so whenever I get a full size one of this in a box, it disappears to her. But yeah, she really likes this one. I love this one. This is the one that's kind of blue. Um, I don't really know what the difference is between the different moisturisers because I've used a different day cream before. I've never used a blue one before. Um, so I don't really know what the difference is specifically. But I really liked it. I'll always look out for event products in boxes. Um, but yeah, never buy full price. Okay, next we've got another incredibly expensive product. This is Dr. Barbara Sturm. So this is the face cream. I think this was in the Cut Beauty gift we purchased as well. And yeah, this is the first Dr. Barbara Stern product I've tried because these are so expensive. This is like double event prices. Well, maybe not that much, but yeah, it's super, super expensive. This was so nice on my skin. Oh my God, like my skin was so soft when I was using this. It just, oh, it was lush, loved it. But I just can't bring myself to pay these prices for a moisturizer, do you know what I mean? Amazing stuff though. So I was so glad that I got to try this because it was in that gift we purchase. Um, I think we've got a couple in advent calendars this year, the odd product, so I do get to try some more products, which is exciting. But yeah, super, super expensive. But I mean, if I suddenly become a millionaire for win the lottery, I would definitely get this, definitely. It's so, so good. And again, like, there was actually um, a video on YouTube. Um, a girl did a review of hyaluronic serums, one from Dr. Barbara Stern, which is like 300 pounds or something. I can't remember the exact amount. And they compared it with the ordinary six pound serum. Because um, I always thought, well, it's it's just hyaluronic acid, it's the same. Why would someone pay £300 for it? And she explains the science behind it um, and the other ingredients and stuff and how how they all work. And at the end, she actually said that the Dr. Barbara Stern one was better, so she would always pay the £300, which I thought was insane. But, yeah, she had her reasons and there's the science behind it. So if you want to watch that video, I'll, I'll actually link that below because it's really interesting. Um, but, yeah, it just shows it does work. So, yeah. Okay, next we've got some firming serum from eCooking. So this is a little pot and it came with like capsules inside. So I think we had 10 capsules, maybe 15 capsules in here. Um, so this is something that it says, apply the serum on the face, neck and decolletage every morning after cleansing and then finish with moisturizer. I didn't use this in the morning. I was using this at night because it's those little pods. You know where you twist the top, the little capsules? Um, and I found the actual serum was quite oily, quite greasy, so I would use it at night and then follow with the moisturiser Because um, if I used it in the day, it was just too, my skin was just too, too greasy I don't know if it did anything for firming, I think just 15 capsules is quite hard to see if there's a difference um, So I definitely have to try more uh, E-cooking is pretty hit and miss for me, some products are nice, some products I just don't like at all uh, These ones were kind of in the middle, they were, they were fine, they were okay But I think I'd probably have to try more to actually decide if I like them but yeah, there's nothing really bad about them. Nothing bad to say. They were just okay. Next is a primer from Monia Skin. So this was in a rocker box earlier in the year and that's why I bought the rocker box because um, I discovered Monia Skin after getting a cohorty box full of Monia Skin products and there was a few products in there that I absolutely loved so I thought, oh, I really want to try the primer so I bought the rocker box. I think this is a fairly expensive primer. Was it like 20, 30 pounds or something? This was really, really good. This was such a great base. It lasted quite a while as well. Um, I didn't like the packaging though because like when it got to like here, the pump didn't pick anything up so then I had to, every time I wanted to use it, I had to do this and kind of like twist it around, you know, to pick bits out. But yeah, other than that, the primer itself was amazing, uh, great base for makeup, I just put it on, left it for like 5 minutes and yeah, amazing, loved it. So definitely use this one again. Next we've got two eye creams, first one is Charlotte Tilbury, love this as um, the magic cream as well so yeah use this completely this was in the ASOS box two months ago now you only get in this little sample a tiny amount three mil three mil so it's like tiny but with eye cream 
you literally need the tiniest amount around the eyes so this did actually last me like a couple of weeks like the magic cream i just find the charlotte tilbury moisturizers are just fab really nice bases for your makeup as well they're really nourishing the skin and they just i don't know they just make my skin look and feel amazing so love this um i did get another one of these like miniatures and i've given that to my mum to try although i'd love to just use it all myself but i'll, I'll share let my mum try it as well yeah but love that 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend charlotte tilbury skincare and then the other eye cream was gold fading nd solution bright eyes dark circle radiance concentrate four mil this was in the gift we purchased for club beauty this was meant to be like to get rid of like dark circles i don't really know if it did that i think it was just too small to even tell but yeah i used it up it was nice it was nourishing but i don't really think it did anything for dark circles I don't know. I mean, obviously I've got makeup on now, but yeah, I don't really know. Yeah, I'd have to try that one again, I think. And then we've got a sunscreen from Supergoop. This is the Unseen Sunscreen UVB Protection SPF 30. Now, I started using this. This is like, it's kind of like a clear, silicony kind of consistency. If you think of the pore, what's it called? Pore Professional Primer? Or the, is it Baby Skin Primer from another brand, maybe Maybelline? I don't know. Anyway, it's like that clear kind of really, really silky consistency. It was the same kind of thing as that. So you put it on it just like smooth onto your skin. This was really, really good as, you know, if you just wanted like a no makeup day, it just gave a nice matte look. So it wasn't shiny, it didn't look greasy. It was really, really nice. Um, it also worked well under makeup. So yeah, absolutely love this. Very, very happy with it. This is quite expensive. So this little tiny size is 15 pounds and this is 15 mil. So. Uh, it is quite expensive for a sunscreen. I definitely thought I'd found my fave sunscreen that I was going to rebuy and rebuy. Um, but on the front, it only says UVB. So I texted my friend who's also used this and said, it only says UVB, what about the UVA? It's not like broad spectrum. And then when we looked on the website, it does say broad spectrum. So I'm not really sure if this is broad spectrum or not because it just says UVB. Like, why wouldn't it say broad spectrum or UVA? So I don't know. I'd definitely buy it again. Um, and if the website says broad spectrum, I'd hope that the box or the full size version would say it because i don't know if it's maybe just because it's a miniature i don't know but yeah really really like this i would definitely get this one again i do have another miniature and i think there's another one in an advent calendar maybe coming up but yeah i really like that one so i think that one would be my go-to everyday sunscreen for under makeup especially okay next we've got two makeup products so i've got the benefit gimme brow this is like teeny look how small that is yeah this is like your brow gel um, it is coloured. I don't know if it has a particular colour. Oh, number three. Brow Volumising Fibre Gel. I really like this. It has like the tiniest little brush. It just doesn't want to focus today. There we go. So yeah, it's the tiniest little brush. Uh, this did actually last quite a while. It's like mascaras. They're just like never ending. Um, and I did like the fact that this was tinted as well. So it just gave like, you know the, like, the little fine wispy hairs at the front here? And then the end ones, it just added colour to that without having to go in with the pencil. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. Uh, there's been another product in like this in an advent calendar recently. So I'm going to try that one. It's slightly bigger. It's the same brand, but a different product, I think. So I'm going to try that one first and then see which I prefer. At the moment, I've just moved on to this next one, which is huge. So this is going to like, realistically, this could last me years. <laughs> Hygienically, it's going to last me six months because that's how long it says I have. Um, but yeah, this is massive. So that will last forever. And then the second makeup product is an eyeliner. This is my favorite one I've used in a long time. So I used to use religiously, like um, one from, I wanna say Collection or Rimmel or something. It was like a drugstore brand. It was a tube that was thicker than this and the lid was like this big, so it just screwed off. The actual brush on the end was a brush, so it like had a really nice flick. It wasn't like um, a felt tip nib or anything. So there was a lot of movement in it. And I used that so long, it was so good. Then, I don't know if they stopped doing it, but I just couldn't find it anymore. So I then moved on to another drugstore one, which I can't remember the name of it, the brand. It's the little black pot with like the white point for the lid, which has the applicator on. Um, you'll know which one I mean. So yeah, I moved on to that one and then that became my go-to. And then, I don't know what happened, I just ended up moving on to like these other kind of like pen ones. And then I found this one. Oh, I used the Kylie Kyliner one, that was the best. Love that one. And then this one is very, very similar. So this is, it is like a felt tip nib, um, but there's a lot of movement in it because the Ico one I've tried and the, the Ico like 
is it called like the fat eyeliner or something that you know the really really chunky one didn't like that there's just no movement in it but yeah really like this one anyway i'm just going on now aren't I? anyway love this one so very very precise nib um as you can see i like to try and get a very precise flick and this one was amazing at doing that um wasn't like too liquid either and it wasn't too hard to get the actual product out so yeah this is x lash really good 10 out of 10 love this one um, I've since moved on to the Natasha Denona Macro Blade Liquid Liner. This was in the Feel Unique one that I chose. This one, again, really amazing because it's just so, so light, squishy the nib, but there's so much liquid in here, you have to be so careful. And I've noticed that like it does kind of bleed, so it does go into like, you know, if you've got any creases in your eyes, then yeah, it does kind of, it wanders. Um, but other than that, this is really nice as well. Okay, moving on to the last few things. So I've got a hand cream from the White Company. This is the Lime and Bay Mini Hand Cream 30ml. This was in last year's advent calendar. Um, finally got around to using this one. Really, really nice. Really rich, really nourishing. It soaks into your skin really nicely and just leaves your hands feeling nice. It doesn't feel sticky, there's no residue. Really, really good hand cream. I adore this scent, it's so nice, really refreshing. And then we've got like bath kind of products here. So I've got a body lotion. Uh, this is the White Company Seychelles. Um, again, really like this. I love the Seychelles smell, it's so nice. A really nourishing body lotion again. Not too thick, no residue. It's just, it was like the hand cream, but for your body, it's so nice. The only thing I didn't like is the actual bottle. It was so hard to get out. I ended up leaving it in the cupboard like this, and it just wouldn't drop so like there's a tiny amount at the bottom i just can't get out i've had the lid off i've a finger in like trying to get it out but it's just not coming out so yeah really adore that one um i think they're quite pricey from the white company i have just bought the advent calendar so i do have quite a nice stock of stuff now um but i'd probably wait until it was on sale um if i wanted to buy like full size versions and then also from the white company we've got the spa restore bath oil shop this was nice don't think i'd buy this one again so this was something that i put in the bath but I like bubbles in my bath. So I put bubbles in first and then put this in. Mm, it smells so nice. It's, this is the very like relaxing scent. It's geranium, neroli and eucalyptus. Um, so it's kind of the same scent as my bubble bath thing at the moment. But yeah, just add this to my bath and it just smell amazing. It's really, really nice. Really calming and relaxing. But I've got a different oil that I'm using from Monu Skin that I feel like, like nourishes my body better so like when i get out my skin feels moisturized already so i probably won't get this one again but i would definitely use these i've got two more that i still need to use up from last year's advent calendar and i've got some more in this year so yeah okay next we've got the molten brown bath and shower gel in recharge black pepper this is my favorite scent so this is like it's kind of like a brownie orangey kind of shade obviously when it's full this was in this was a miniature in like an advent calendar last year and I started using this one and I went and told Dan how amazing it smelled. And then it seemed to disappear from my shelf in the shower to his shelf and started disappearing. So Dan really enjoyed it. It's definitely more of, I'd say more of a masculine scent to be honest, um, or unisex, but this was really nice. So I stole it back and used the last bit in the bath and I had a really, really nice scented bath. Uh, Molten Brown are great for shower gels. Um, really nice. I do always get them in advent calendars though, so I don't ever need to rebuy them. But yeah, if I was going to get one, I would get either this one or the Fiery Pink Pepper. That one's a nice one too. And then finally, I just wanted to mention these. These are little Q-tips, but they're from a brand called EcoBuds. It's 100% biodegradable um, and it's made from bamboo and organic cotton. So these are really, really great for just like touching up, you know. If I've like done my eyeshadow and it's like drop, pop a little bit of moisturiser on the end of these and it just kind of like removes it without removing the rest of your makeup. But yeah, these are just, they're just essentials, aren't they? These little Q-tips. But these ones, obviously because they're made of bamboo and cotton, then they are biodegradable and the packaging is also recyclable, biodegradable, everything. The ones I was previously using before I bought these was like just some from Tesco, uh, which was fine. They were cotton and paper, but the, the box was plastic. So there's no need to really buy that one when you can get the biodegradable version and do your bit for the planet. And yeah, they were actually really, really good. So I do have a box of like 10 of these boxes. So I'm stocked up, but yeah, I'll always get these ones now because there's no point buying a plastic box when I don't need it. So this one will do absolutely fine. So guys, those are my empties for September. So like I said, quite a lot of minis and yeah, quite a mixed bunch really. Some products I love, some that I'm not too fussed about. Definitely some faves in there. Um, like my Dermalogica, would always rebuy that one. Love that one so much. The Charlotte Tilbury, 
um, eye cream. Um, but yeah, some really, really good product. I really hope you found this video useful. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you've used any of these products before or what your alternatives to these products are and any that you recommend. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and also hit subscribe and I will see you soon for another video.